Hey what's up this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing um, an events banner in Canva and would be um, employing some few tips and tricks to make it look like a Photoshop design but it's going to be done in Canva. So if you are interested in designing what you see on my screen right now stay tuned and I would be right back after the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing I'll do is to move to all designs and one thing I want you to know is all the elements, if you want to use the same elements I'm using, there's a link in the description box below that will lead you to a Google Drive so that you can get them for yourself. Now after you have it, what you have to do is to click on create a design and we are going to search for banner. Okay, so B-A-N-N-E-R. Okay, so once you have all of these options what we are going to choose is the landscape type okay so we click on the landscape and let me close this fantastic so we have a blank canvas over here and i'll go into my um photos first okay and in photos we are going to choose um any photo you want to use but make sure the photo um you know goes in line with whatever the event is going to be so i'm going to be designing more of like a christian um events banner okay so i will just search for christian or i can just search for conference okay so conference okay and in conference there are so many pictures that would um show up as usual and if you're on the free version of canva what you can do is um if all the images popping up are pro versions or are for pro users you can use on splash you know there are a lot of tutorials i keep mentioning on splash and all of these websites so you can just take your time go to those websites and find photos that can um, help you okay so i will just choose this photo i think is one of the photos i love so much in canva especially when i'm doing anything that has to do with, like corporate vibes and stuff like that okay so now after i do that all i have to do is to press r on my keyboard for a rectangle and i just want to use it as an overlay okay so with this you can choose any color at all you want and make sure that all the colors you are using also falls in line with the brand okay or if you are just practicing then you can also just do what i'm doing so i'll choose black i'll come to transparency and i'll reduce it to 80 okay so with 80 this is what i have and i'll press r again for rectangle and this one this time around i'm going to um you know rotate it a little bit to 21 degrees or i can maybe leave it to 10 okay negative 10 then i position it here and i drag this side okay then i duplicate it and i bring it to the bottom over here so you can see what we are doing then i hold shift and select this rectangle also at the top i come to color and i choose white okay because i want to use a white color for it okay so now what we are going to do is we go into upload and we are going to use a glare okay that's how i call it but some sort of like a light leak okay and um just in case you don't have it you can also try to see if you can get it from um photo so let's search for light leak and once we search okay we have so many options over here so with this op with these options what we can do is you can just maybe reduce the transparency to make a match with you know whatever you are doing so you can see how it's looking right now okay and i move it here but just make sure it's not fitting completely else it will replace the image you have at the bottom so i will use it a little bit okay and i'll also send it to the back so you can see how this is looking it's looking very clean and very christian <laughs> okay nice one now with the light leak um you know with this light let me just show you what i mean i think that is better that way all right so this is what i was referring to and we are going to use it in interesting ways okay so i would also rotate it to negative um 10 because that's the rotation we are using okay so negative 9 and um okay so i'll leave it like this for now then come into uploads okay and in uploads i have some images i want to use so i'll just scroll to the top so i'll use these two men okay mighty men if i should say 
I position them here and let's say these are the guest speakers. Okay, so with this, you can even um, use maybe any custom photo or if you are searching for ideas, you know, to do this for a client, there's one style you can incorporate. Okay, so yeah, I make it bigger because I don't want it to look like one is a smaller man and one is a bigger man. So I try to get them to be the same size. Okay, you can see this one over here is he's bigger okay he looks very big over here so yeah this is what we have at the moment and i would position this one and i want this man to come in front so i bring him to the front hold shift select the second one and move all of them in so that they look like this and i want to punch them up a little bit because they look too flat i don't know my second screen yeah they look too flat so i hold this one come to adjust and adjust i will increase the contrast to 24 and the saturation to somewhere like nine or eight let me just choose eight for now okay so you can see how he's looking i'll do the same for this one too so i increase it okay then with the saturation i increase it to eight okay so that they look very um pumped up okay nice one nice i think they are looking very beautiful nice so the next thing we are going to do is add our titles and to do that we come to text okay and in text we are going to choose the add um a heading so i click on add a heading and it should come here then I am going to position it here. Then what I want to do is to adjust these images a little bit. So I just reduce the sizes just a little bit. Okay. Okay. So it looks okay. Then with this, um, let's say it's called prophetic. Yeah. Something like that. So, um, yeah. So prophetic, um, um, invasion okay so this is what we have at the moment and i select or i come to spacing and i reduce the line spacing all right all right and i can also rotate it okay i can rotate it to 10 degrees for it to match what we already have all right so once you do that you can um, leave it okay or if you want it to be straight you can also do that you can just leave it to be zero okay so you can leave it to be zero and depending on the font type you are using if you you can uh, make it italic you can also do that so you can see this is what i'm using i'm just using the um open sans extra and i'll change the color to white so that it's, it can be read easily okay then i just want to increase the size more so that it stands out all right all right okay so now that i have that i can position my text a little bit take my light leak okay and i can just rotate it also to something like zero it should be zero because we are not um using it anymore I, we are not going to rotate it anymore that's what i mean okay then i bring it in front okay and i take it you know down a little bit and i can duplicate it and also bring it somewhere here okay so that it makes it look dramatic and um, cinematic you understand awesome so now that we have that we are going to also add some slight text at the bottom so i press t on my keyboard and i will choose a different font okay a lighter one so that we can um, easily see the contrast so i choose a uh, monstrat classic we can see awesome then i reduce the size of it then i position it down here okay and i can just see the theme okay so the theme of it can be um maybe miracle waves okay so miracle waves are here all right then i just stretch it out a little bit so that i just have all my text on um on one line i don't want them to be broken down and uh, stuff like that okay so i stretch it out and i just clear this space over here and i also reduce the size more okay then i position it here awesome so we are almost done with it and um, what we are going to do next is to add you know the time date and all of these um 
interesting things we can we can do so i just select this text and i duplicate it and i move it to the bottom okay and i can use black just to remain simple right okay so time we can just say 9 a.m prompt okay and date we can also say um maybe 15 december okay 2021 that's what we can also just say it's it, this is um <laughs> this is not a real event so don't think it's a real event okay nice one so i just tuck this in and i move it here a little bit okay so that it can be seen easily then i'm going to find um something nice okay so maybe let me reduce the size of these ones a little bit and i will also reduce the line spacing okay i reduce the line spacing also a little bit then i drop it down yeah so something like this is cool and just tuck it in more for it to look cleaner oh no it shouldn't be like this just nice one okay and um just pardon me if i'm going a little bit slow it's just because canva is you know as usual for some time i've been running very slow but we couldn't also say no to tutorials because it's running so yeah that's just by the way okay so now i come back to element okay and in element what we are going to do is to search for logo okay so i search for logo and in this case i'm just going to use one of these logos canva has over here but for you it's a no no you should use your logo okay so this is a conference so i may just choose um this logo okay just for using its sake i don't know the, the company's name because i'm sure there's an original company which has this logo i'm just uh the fake company using <laughs> using it okay so i position it here and i can just reduce it a little bit then maybe i can choose my text duplicate it with ctrl c ctrl v and i come here and i just say uh, maybe entrepreneur okay entrepreneurs hub okay now let's add the names of the speakers so the next thing we are going to do is to add the line and we press l on our keyboard and we just have to rotate it to 90 degrees awesome and after we have it what i'm going to do is i have to reduce the height of this line so i press this okay this line over here and hold shift and alt and I drag it up nice one there okay so 90 degrees and we just leave it and we can just also bring it here okay so we can imp increase the thickness of it so we can increase the thickness to something like 12 and we can also change the color to yellow or to blue to make it visible all right all right and the next thing we can do is to maybe add the names okay but maybe let me improve this one more okay then i come to the style i choose the first one over here and to make it visible easily i would select okay a shape press out on your keyboard for rectangle and reduce the size to a smaller rectangle okay then we move this rectangle here okay then we reduce the size of it the next thing i am going to do is to change the color of it to white okay so we have this simple and nice effect okay then let me reduce the size a little bit more so that it doesn't look too big because we don't want it to be looking um too big on our design okay yeah and if you want to go crazy a little bit with the white you can always and always reduce the transparency of the white okay so nice let's select everything we have over here and duplicate it and also move it here all right then we come to the text duplicate it and i also move it here and i just put the name of this person which i can see benjamin tim all right then i reduce the size of it and i position it inside my shape nice one the next thing we do is we will duplicate and move this name also over here okay 
and maybe this is called EOS. Okay. Yeah. So we just name him Jack. Maybe Jack S. Dot Hills. Yeah. And um, this is what we have at the moment. Oh, it's saying <laughs> my internet. Don't worry. So this is what we have been able to create today, and I hope you enjoyed it so much because even though we use some very simple, simple steps. This looks very professional. I, I must say, it really looks very, very nice. So yes, the name is Benjamin, and I wish remember there are so many tutorials I have on my channel. And also, if you want to suggest the next design I should make, there's a link in the description. Okay, that will take you to a Google form, and there you can just tell me which design or whatever thing you want me to make next, and I'll be glad to make a tutorial on that. I wish remember there is no limit to creativity and I will see you in my next video.